Throughout the Jason Van Dyke murder trial, the defense team has called several witnesses to recount past encounters with Laquan McDonald. Police officers and staff who had altercations with Laquan during his time in Chicago's juvenile detention facility. Van Dyke, a Chicago police officer, shot and killed Laquan back in 2014. Dash cam footage of the shooting sparked nationwide protests and led to Van Dyke being charged with first degree murder. And Laquan got like agitated and put his arm back. The combative uh, behavior and him basically violently resisting against us. So did he hit you? Yes. All right. Testimonies like the ones being given in Van Dyke's defense are called lynch material, and while some view them as offensive or irrelevant, they are perfectly legal because of an Illinois Supreme Court case from more than 30 years ago. So State v. Lynch was a 1984 Supreme Court of Illinois case that said that if there's a valid claim of self-defense, the defendant can put on evidence of basically the prior violent acts or acts of aggression. Alexa Van Brunt is a civil rights attorney in Chicago and a Northwestern law professor. It's a self-defense case. There are conflicting stories about what happened, and maybe those prior acts will help the jury decide whose story to believe. The problem here, at least in Van Brunt's opinion, is the dash cam video of the Laquan McDonald shooting shows what happened before, during, and after the incident. The idea behind lynch material is to provide some testimony when there are conflicting stories. There was no video. The court actually said in that case that, you know, this is not a case where the jury can see what the defendant saw. Well, ironic to apply it then to this case where, in fact, they can see <laughs> what uh, Van Dyke saw either through the dash cam video or the recreation that the defense suggested was the true version of events. It is an unjust ploy to paint Laquan McDonald as the perpetrator. Laquan McDonald is a victim. He is the victim in this matter. He was, he is not on trial. The decision to allow lynch material testimony has drawn criticism from Laquan McDonald's family, lawyers following the trial, and some members of the media. I mean, will they use it for the reason they're supposed to, um, which is evaluating the reasonableness of Van Dyke's actions? Or will they say that, you know what, this kid was dangerous and maybe it's good, we got him off the streets. And that's horrific and a really, really negative view of criminal justice. The Jason Van Dyke murder trial is currently in its third week of testimony. Analysts expect the jury to start deliberating within the next couple of weeks.